Hey guys, so today I am going to be reacting to Girl of the Year 2023, Kavi Sharma. I have not seen her yet. Well, I've seen a couple of things, but for the most part, I have not seen her. I barely know anything about her. So you guys are going to be getting my first reaction to her. I specifically tried so that I could get my first reaction on camera. So let's get started. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to hit 385 subscribers by the end of the month and 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go on to American Girl. So we have Stop in the Spotlight with Girl of the Year 2020 copy. Uh, just a disclaimer, I have seen like what the doll looks like. And I've seen maybe one outfit, but I think that's about it. So first, we're going to look at the doll. She is 151 with the... Her accessories are $36. Wow. I like her. She looks like she has some pretty trendy stuff on. I like the purse thing. It won't let me zoom in. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I like this little purse thing. Um, I'm actually getting one of these because I really like it. Let's see. Oh, she's pretty. At first, from like first glance, I kind of thought she would like look like Luciana, which I wasn't that excited about. But now that I'm looking at her, she actually doesn't look too much like Luciana. She does have painted eyelashes, but I'm not sure how old she is. Like I said, I barely know any about her. Yeah, this is the bag I like. They did something different this year. They did a journal by, like, her journal, not just a book. So I'm guessing it's kind of going to be like Diary of a Wimpy Kid or something. I'm not sure. Looks interesting. Here we have the backstage set for $295. The stage part kind of looks like it was reused from Tennis, in my opinion. I mean, I think it's pretty good, but not something I'd be willing to spend $295 on. Here we have the backstage trunk for $125. Um, it's not my favorite. I'll say that. It's definitely not my favorite piece. I mean, I haven't seen any of her collection, but I'm just not loving it. It's just kind of meh. Here we have her performance outfit. I'm not sure about the jacket. That's the thing. I think it's an okay outfit. I think I'm going to have to like grow in her collection because right now I'm just kind of like Oh my. The top on the performance outfit is sequined. That's interesting. Next we have the songwriting accessories for 115. This is actually super cute. I think this is my favorite so far. Like, I love the keyboard and like the little desk, like the recording stuff. I love it. Didn't know she was a songwriter than that. That's cool. Like I said, I, I know nothing about her, so this is very intriguing. I need to like read her story. I might get this depending on like how big it is because I Obviously, I'm not gonna get it if it's gonna like take up half my room. But I think this is definitely my favorite. We have the accessories. I can't tell what the material is on the hat. Looks like a fuzzy bucket hat, almost. It's an elephant. Ooh, a weekly planner. Wrist bands, yeah. And then the purse. Purse is my favorite from that collection. 
I could see that being something I would have. Here we have the Bollywood outfit. So this was the one that I kept seeing over AGIG. It looks pretty good. Here's the thing, and I saw somebody post on AGIG about this, but I don't like how AG is doing like all of the costume stuff. Like for Joss, she had the like the cheer outfits and the surfing outfits and only had like her me outfit and one other like casual outfit. For Corinne, we had like her PJs and an ice skating outfit and her skiing outfit and then like the camping outfit which was meh. So I just wish we got more like casual outfits for the dolls instead of like costumey outfits but I mean to, I haven't obviously haven't read the books and I keep saying this that this is my first reaction but I think it matches her story pretty well oh my goodness I love her PJs these are like so cute I mean they are blue which I kind of don't like because we've had a lot of blue pajamas but I'm just in love with these Here's her dog. I saw an Ali Catlow's AG say something about this, but we we honestly need to have more girls, girl theaters who don't have dogs. Cause I know, well, dogs are probably the most popular pet in the country. Not everyone has a dog. I don't have pets and I've only had a fish. One of my friends doesn't have any pets. Another friend has birds. Like, we need more pets than just dogs. Here we have her yoga outfit. This is pretty cute. I mean, looks like some. I mean, I could see somebody like in one of my workout videos wearing this. Maybe not exactly this, but like something similar along like the same design. And then here we have her yoga accessories. It comes with a yoga mat, the book, the yoga poses, the yoga bag, towel, and what I'm guessing is essential oils, maybe? I think this is pretty good for like a yoga thing like has some of the stuff like the yoga mat which is good I think that is everything oh I found her story me our 2023 girl of the year Kavi Sharma the world of this 18 inch doll is filled with play sets that bring her story of performing on stage to life. So I guess she is a theater kid. From Kavi's songwriting accessories to Kavi's backstage set to Kavi's Bollywood dance costume, plus Kavi's ultimate collection includes everything to imagine her in the spot. Like, like the 18 inch dolls for our 2021 Girl of the Year and 2022 Girl of the Year, Kavi highlights issues important to girls successes today. So I'm not sure what that is, but I'm interested to find out. So that was my opinion on Kavi Sharma. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your favorite or what your thoughts are on Kavi. And please comment like please comment like and subscribe. Bye.